they know that uh, the the nine Tom story is not true. Burma saying that you're not allowed to fight for the next two years. Who's helping more Myanmar? Them or me? It's not even a question. I care about the people, 55 million people, not 10 people that, that don't like me. That other fighter that you've been talking back and forth for, Bokao Ben Chamek, what's going on with that? It did piss me off when he came to Myanmar. I didn't pick Bokao. I didn't, I don't care about the guy. I couldn't care less about it. I don't, fighting for me, it's, it's war. So I'm about to fight this guy. Fighting back in the days was fucking war. I have uh, way better hands than him. That even with no headbutts, I call knockout on Bokao in, in the first three minutes. All right, well, nice to meet you. How, how do I pronounce your name? Dave Leduc, right? Oh, yeah, Dave Leduc, it's French. Yeah. Can you speak French, though? Yeah, it's my premier language. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. All right, we're okay. going to do this in English, though, right? So are, yeah, you, are you comfortable for talking about everything? Yeah, no problem, bro. Okay, cool. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay, give me a second for us to set up everything. Are you in, uh, are you in uh, Thailand, Bangkok? Yeah, where are you though? Are you in Thai? Are, are you in no. uh, Burma? You know, I'm in uh, I'm in Turkey. Turkey? Yeah. You live there? Uh, right now, we're here for a year because in Canada, uh, it was uh, it was uh, the the government restrictions were not permitting us to train. So. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, so I, I came here because I have a lot of friends here, and uh, no no quarantine, no problem. So training yeah, is yeah. good here. Yeah. Okay, obviously that makes sense. All right, La Palmae. Okay, my. Okay, all right. We're about to start that. All right. Yes. All right. Sir. All right. So here I am with you, Dave Leduc. Dave Leduc. Well, nice to meet you. I'm Anton Pinto. Um, all right. It's an honor to talk to you. Obviously, right now you're making a lot of noise, especially over here in Thailand. So tell me what's going on right now. I don't know what's going on. Uh, they have to tell me. I'm just speaking my mind. You know. I've seen. Well, obviously, everyone has seen you posted that post on Facebook um, where you attacked a little bit of, let's say, the Muay Thai culture. And obviously, a lot of people coming from Muay Thai got offended by it. Can you tell me about it? Yeah, um, basically, yeah, I was, uh, I've, I was, I was bottling up a lot of, uh, of, um, of emotion about, about these stories that I was hearing in, uh, in, um, in, for example, the, the nine Nakom Tom story, basically. Um, so this was something that was uh, was annoying me for a lot for a long time, and it, it was uh, basically inciting some kind of old hatred between um, between the you know the two nations of, of Thailand and Myanmar, um, and that's what I, I I was tired of. It's just a few, some people were saying that I was I'm enticing nature, you know, I'm I'm making uh, Thailand and Myanmar not like each other. Well, I disagree because the story itself is uh, basically like living in the past of 1967, basically when, yes, the Burmese army attacking, attacked uh, Ayatuya, the, the capital of Siam. And uh, the Myanmar people are not celebrating this. They're actually sad of this. They're not, they're not happy of this, of this war history. Um, and somehow uh, we're, you know, Thai people are celebrating, uh, you know, the Muay Thai community around the world is celebrating this Naina Kamtam persona in the Muay Thai Day, the World Muay Thai Day, every March uh, 17th, well, obviously the, the World Muay Thai Day is perfect, you know, can celebrate it, but th th this part I think we should lose because it's, uh, it's, uh, it's insulting to the Burmese heritage. Honestly, people need to remember that Myanmar has been closed for 60 years from military dictatorship. Um, Thailand was lucky to have a, a, a flourishing econ econ economy for, with tourists and everything, but Myanmar, the only thing they have right now is their culture, their power, and their, their honor. And this story is, I have, you know, I, I fucking hate it because it's, it's, uh, it's insulting, you know, and it's a fake story. And it's nine Burmese fighters in a row with no rest periods is fucking bullshit. Um, and even my friends that are Thai fighters, uh, uh, Shannon Virachai told me, he's like, Dave, you have a good point. Uh, I don't even believe in that story myself. That's the kind of story uh, our parents tell us uh, in bedtime in a childhood. And um, I think this, these kind of stories are, are creating a very strong national, nationalistic, nationalism, patriotic, patriotic feeling in Thai people, which is great, but it's insulting uh, the heritage of Myanmar. Why did you feel like you had to say something about it? You feel like it's 
putting down Myanmar or, or the Burmese fighting? Or why did you feel like you have to say something about that? Good question. Uh, well, obviously, I, I, I don't think people understand how deep uh, my ties with Myanmar is. Uh, I, I have a, a place there right now. I'm actually, um, I'm bore, uh, the borders are closed right now. I can't even enter because it's, a, it's like, a, it's not a protest anymore. It's a civil war in Myanmar. My, my, my friends are getting killed. My friends are getting injured. Uh, my friend Pota just basically got a, a bomb uh, yesterday and we don't know if he's alive or uh, yet. But basically, uh, why did I feel? Because I, 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 my life changed with uh, Myanmar. My life changed with Litwe. Uh, I was able to give my, my, um, my family and my wife, myself, uh, a great life. And my, my mission, my life mission is to bring uh, pride, bring, um, bring uh, awareness to Myanmar, which is a beautiful country with 55 million people that doesn't get uh, enough uh, recognition. It's, it's beautiful. The, the people are the kindest, uh, some of the kindest I met in my entire life. And uh, uh, they're very humble, uh, unlike me. And uh, they're not able to, 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 to to tell as it is, I, I, I just, you know, to, to maybe bring the truth or something. They would never dare to tell you, to tell uh, about the, the story. They would never, because they're, they're, too, they're too kind for this. Uh, well, I don't care. And um, yes, I, I, I say that in my interviews a lot. If there's such thing as an, another life, uh, Antoine, if there's another life, well, I probably was born in Myanmar because I, I've never felt uh, more at my place there, man. I wear the longi, the longi. It's like a dress. I, I, it's, it's my. I, I'm in Turkey and I wear my fucking longi here. You know, like it's. I, I was living in Dubai and I was wearing my longi there. People uh, were looking at me. What, what religion is that? Well, it's not a religion. It's the way of life. You know, and um, yeah. Uh, to answer your question, I feel like it's. Um, uh, it, it's. Uh, it's my duty as like uh, unofficial. Uh, tourism ambassador because the you know Muay Thai helped a lot me uh, Muay Thai helped a lot uh, Thailand uh, with tourism you know you, you you have a gym a lot of gyms around the world which is great and it brings people to to Thailand because of that well the more uh, the more uh, you know the truths are set the more the, the people know about Myanmar the more uh, it's going to help my adoptive country because yes it's my adoptive country I feel uh, I feel more at home there uh, than a lot of place in the world. Are you scared, like you've just mentioned, that you're causing some issues between both countries in Thailand? No, no. Like I said, the story itself was uh, was uh, it was about time somebody said it because it's 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 bringing it's 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 living in the past for for no reason. Like, okay, we're we're gonna celebrate this this uh, fake character and. I, I, Yes, there's no uh, there's no evidence supporting this. Uh, we can argue if you want. I, I, I love to argue. I should have been a lawyer before, but uh, I, I think the the hatred and the, the tension is um, is just uh, Thai people being offended, being being uh, be, being offended, being uh, offended from uh, because honestly, let's be let's be real. Let's be real. When when as when was you was was uh, Muay Thai ever? Um, like challenge in the in the ideology and the values, you know. It's funny because the Muay Thai community always talks trash about Taekwondo kicks, about the the karate. There's no clinching in karate. They always the Muay Thai pages always talk trash about other sports, but when we talk, we say one thing about Muay Thai. Oh no no, we cannot, we cannot. Come on, it's not fair. So um, no, I, I don't think so, Antoine. I think it's uh, it's very healthy to to uh, to to challenge and to to uh, to uh, to have open discussions. Um, that's my opinion. It kind of feels when I talk to you like you have some hate or some issue with Muay Thai because you are originally you come from Muay Thai, right? You've been in Thailand. No, I don't. In no, Thailand. I don't. Tell me a little uh, bit about. Uh, yeah, that's the misconception. Actually, my my first uh, my first love is grappling. I'm a, I, I was doing a lot of competition in Canada in grappling. Uh, I saw uh, and the the gym I was I was uh, I did all my training was a Jeet Kune Do gym, a, a Kung Fu gym. So I was doing Sanda. Uh, San Chao or Sanda, whatever you, it's, uh, it's basically uh, throws, you, you know, it, it's from China, Chinese martial arts. That's, that's my, I never took the traditional spark, uh, aspect of it. I never did the traditional uh, Jeet Kune Do, but I was implementing my Sifu, my, my coach, I still call him my Sifu. Uh, for people that don't know, it's like a crew in, in, uh, in Muay Thai or Sensei, my, my Sifu is uh, Sifu Pat. And uh, he was implementing Jeet Kune Do mentality in my, my style. I was always uh, unorthodox, always weird. But he showed me a, a magazine, uh, Antoine, of, of, uh, 
Black Belt magazine, and it was an article on Burmese boxing. And from that time, I said, I want to be, I want to fight this because it's weird. Every, in Canada, there was a lot of Muay Thai gyms. There was no Litwit gyms. And uh, there was, and I was like, I always had a problem with, uh, with uh, fitting in the mold. Probably like you too, we like to be different. We like, we like to be ourselves. So I said, this is cool. This is different. And I'm different. So I made a promise. One day I'm going to go there. But I was in a small, small city in Canada. How the fuck am I going to go to, to, to Myanmar? It was not open to the world yet. It was under military dictatorship. So I had some friends that were training at Tiger Muay Thai. I had some friends that were, that were there. I get, I'm Canadian. I get a 30-day uh, easy stamp. Uh, to go to Thailand, 30-day visa, no, no problem. While in Myanmar, good luck going there and good luck getting a fight. There's no fight. Uh, you have to have a name. You have to have an experience. So I go there for one month and um, I enjoy it. I get drunk at Petong. I, I, uh, it, was, it was cool. Um, I get my first uh, Muay Thai fight and I, I never fought Muay Thai in my fucking life. I was fighting Sanda. I was fighting Jeet Kune Do, And uh, I win against a Falang, a Farang, and um, a, a big Farang. And, uh, and then I came back because it was easier to get, to get fights there. I was not able to get a fight in Myanmar because they were said, well, you have one fight. Why are we going to fight against a champion in Myanmar? Who are you? So uh, I was like, okay. So I went to Phuket, trained there. To be honest, to answer your question, Antoine, um, I have I I love everybody that I I met there. I have no problem with any uh, foreigners, any foreign or any 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 uh, people. Love the, the 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 trainers that were that were there. But let's be clear, I was never taught anything there. I never I was never taught how to my elbows, my power elbows. That was not there. I never taught my hands. I, in fact, when I was winning, because I'm 14 and one, whatever I don't care. 14 wins, one one loss in Muay Thai. I was getting into bigger tournaments, Max Muay Thai, whatever, uh, and uh, I was very okay. Let's let's get experience so I can go fight in Burma, right? And then um, that's where the 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 the, the, um, the the sour feeling comes in. I was pulled out of these tournaments, Antoine, because um, I was uh, told you're not Thai enough. You're not. Uh, you're not. Uh, you're not. I was. Low, low hand I was not checking the kicks I wanted to punch more we know that in punching doesn't score points a lot in Muay Thai it's the kicks it's the elbows it's the knees while I was going for the punch I was going for I was I was not checking the kicks so I was winning the gamblers didn't like me because I was winning maybe in the first round against uh, you know I was getting but so so I was annoyed with this when I started, wanted I was getting closer to getting to uh, Litwe. Uh, I was starting to do headbutts um, into the into the bag, into the pads, and uh, they were laughing at me uh, a little bit, like, "What are you doing?" It was like a show in the in the like, "What is he doing?" Um, it's okay, but uh, now half of the fucking uh, gym there fights Litwe in in Myanmar. Half of them, so I was like. Uh, a pioneer before before that so now they're not laughing anymore but now they're not making fun of it now they know that they they can make more than uh, they can making in the in the stadiums and they can actually I have a friend of mine that fought senshai for you know a thousand bucks in thai fight a thousand us but he made four thousand in his first little fight and uh, and uh, he has he has it was not televised it was not it was a free show not no television no problem and th so Anyway, just to answer your question, yes, I, I do have um, a little bit of a sour feeling, but not towards Thai people. Um, I think they're, I think they're great. I think it's just uh, the system um, was a bit. Um, it was not. It was. The, it was not. Uh, it was not always fun. But I had a, a, a. Yeah, that's it. Well, it's good for you to clarify that. Well, obviously, with as I said before, you're making a lot of noise, and I don't know if you've seen, and I think you have because you've asked me that before. Um, there's a word going on in here in Thailand that they're trying to ban you from entering the country. How do you feel about it? Okay. Well, that would be uh, that would be amazing. That would be the first time in history that uh, that it happened. So they can do it if they want. Uh, I, I, I don't care. Um, we can fight. We can fight anywhere else uh, in the world. This is uh, this just shows the insecurity. If it's true, um, well, it, it might it might be that they're deep down. They know that uh, the the Nai Nakam Tom story is not true. Maybe deep down they know that. Uh, wait, wait a minute. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> well, as I said, I can't I can't confirm you that right now, but I know this is a word that's going on 
uh, mm-hmm. on social media. Talking about that, I also saw a letter coming from um, Burma saying that you're not allowed to fight for the next two years. Yeah, that's funny. That's a good one. Uh, have you seen that? Is that true? What, yeah, I just I just saw it uh, before your interview, and uh, it, it's it's uh, it's funny. It's a uh, it's it's like a community club. Uh, Supposed that supposed to that don't like me because it's a click you know there's click in Muay Thai there's clicks in uh, in many sports there's different organization in boxing right WBO WBA there's different um, a, a few old people that uh, don't like me ex ex uh, promoters of mine I parted ways with I I I, I, uh, I was not fighting for them anymore they're trying to they're trying they know that I'm more powerful than them I have uh, more followers than uh, all of all their fighters combined so they're trying to, but it, it doesn't work because uh <laughs> they're not even the, the main, they're not even the, the the main federation it's the the, the world little federation is sanctioning fights in usa sanctioning fights in europe the world amateur world championship in poland so they're they have zero they have zero say in uh, in nothing and um the, all the all the police all the immigration People love me, and when I go, I have diplomatic status. I like, I go in immigration. I go like, what are you gonna do? They're gonna, I don't fight. Well, first of all, the fight is not, the money is in pay per view now. It's not into, uh, so I can fight anywhere in the world. If 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 in Myanmar, first of all, they don't have that power. But even if they would, I don't care. My last fight was in Wyoming, USA, and we fought traditional Litway in Wyoming, USA. Um, and uh, but as for the, the, I just saw the letter. It said internationally. Well, good luck, good luck. Stop. Unfortunately, they have no no say, and uh, it's just uh, it's just perfect perfect publicity. How did you feel about it though? Because talking to you, there's one thing I can feel is that you love Myanmar and you want to fight for it. But you hearing yeah. that news, how well, this, again, let's be clear, Antoine. This is not Myanmar. This is a few bureaucrats, a few. Uh, gentlemen, let's call them gentlemen because I'm kind, um, that don't like me because I, I parted ways. I left their promotion. I left them to go to a different promotion and they, they, they're trying to do whatever they can to, I don't know. I don't, so I don't care. It's like if you leave a Thai fight and you go to somewhere else and then Thai fight said, well, Antoine was a shit fighter. We don't like him. He's not able to fight in that. Well, I don't care. I'm going to go fight in, uh, in, uh, in New York. Like it doesn't matter. So in business, you can never achieve the top without making some enemies. You cannot. It's impossible. I'm a very. If you know me in life, I'm I'm very kind. I like to do. I'm you know I'm, but uh, here it's business. You know, and um, they obviously don't like my uh, my way of talking. Um, understandably, but um, I brought more eyes in Myanmar than they ever did in 25 years. Uh, before I fought in Litwe in 2016, nobody knew Litwe. It was a very niche very niche amount of people knew about Litwe because it was closed for 60 years uh, and now they open democratically um, and, and uh, I, I made my point you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna help this country I'm gonna help Myanmar I'm gonna bring eyes to the country uh, organizing uh, trips there with a bunch of people so who's helping more Myanmar them or me it's not even a question you know I, I it's not even a question so um I'm, I'm focused, my, I'm laser focused in my vision. I care about the people, 55 million people, not 10 people that, that don't like me. I focus on the people that love me. And uh, um, so, uh, yes, you're right. I do, I do love Myanmar and I'm, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna continue what I'm doing um, and, go, uh, and, and go full on. Well, keep going on talking about your ways. Obviously in that message you posted on your social, on your social media, you said something about that other fighter that you've been talking back and forth for over a year now, work out Ben Chamek. What's going on with that? Yeah, I got approached. Uh, I got approached by uh, European promoters uh, to uh, to do this fight because obviously there's a big rivalry uh, between uh, the two sports uh, that goes back, you know, ancient times. Let's not go back into uh, the Murburan days or the you know the the, the you know you, in Thailand you call it Murburma. You know, like back in the days. Um, doesn't matter right now. The point is there's a whole there's a whole rivalry and. Um, it's exciting for fans. They, they, they. Um, some people say that you no know, Murburan was because um, there was there was headbutts back then in uh, in Murburan, right? And it was with uh, uh, ropes uh, in in Litwe, in Myanmar. There was there's no ropes. It's uh, bare knuckle, maybe a little bit of gauze, like Street Fighter style, you know, like uh, Sagat style. Um, 
Sagat actually never fought bare knuckle in his life, right? We know that Sagat is a real guy uh, and inspired from Capcom. They took him, but Sagat never fought Karchuk in his life. He, he fought with gloves in stadiums. So I'm the real Sagat. Uh, I, I actually fought with, because uh, Sagat in the video games, he does headbutts and he fights with no gloves and he's tall and slim. Sagat is short and sh and stocky, so I'm the real Sagat. But whatever, that's another that's another controversy for you. Um, but um, my point is, uh, what's going on with this? Is um, I was I forgot what I, I was know, do, you, do you generally don't like Brokaw? Or is that, what is oh, the yeah, is yeah. just a so, so basically, something that you're yeah, trying to get? Or tell me about no, it. Well, he, he did he did he did um, he did piss me off when he came to Myanmar and. Uh, You, you came to me, Amar, to, to go to the Shredagon Pagoda, which is like one of the most, our most uh, um, precious thing. I appreciate that he's Buddhist and he, he wanted to pay respect to the, the, but this is, there's there's a rivalry here that that's beyond that. And that's my personal opinion. And, uh, and um, I, that, that's like, I was like, I was not happy. Uh, I wanted, to, I wanted to talk about this back then, uh, but then it, it grew to, uh, it's just, I'm annoyed. Uh, Antoine, let's, I'm annoyed that and basically for me what okay to answer your question Bokao kind of represents Muay Thai you do as well Sanchai does as well but for example let's say Bokao represents Muay Thai to the a, 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 another western world okay well I'm annoyed that Litway does not get the recognition it deserves because I strongly believe and you can translate that you can I can strongly I, I strongly believe that if Myanmar was not closed in the military dictatorship for 60 years or more and it was complete it was like soviet union it was you cannot it was closed but during that time thailand it was perfect it was the those 60 years was the golden era right it was it was perfect time to have tourism to have gyms opening around the world it would have been it would have been very different if Myanmar was there and uh, was also open to tourists and uh, it would have been like okay let's there would have been a lot of, of, of fights between uh, and basically the talk we're having right now would have been 30 years ago or 50 years ago when the expansion of the western world was happening in Thailand so yes I'm annoyed that the the Myanmar people which deserve so much more recognition so much more uh, attention are not getting it um and uh so basically i'm i i think that uh, a fight between muay thai and Litwe, the, the two the two faces of of uh, the sport deserves to be settled to uh, to make sure that my people in myanmar um get the love they deserve yeah so yes i i don't i don't care about the guy honestly no i don't i i, I don't care about the guy it's about what he represents and what i represent And um, yeah, it's, it's that. So pretty much now you're telling me that this, it could be anyone, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be workout because you're making this a sport issue, not a person no, issue, right? Absolutely not. It doesn't matter who it is. It just happens that this guy uh, is uh, um, my size and he's, um, he's uh, has, uh, I think, the most amount of followers. He's, What about I size? Know. How, how is your weight? Because that's something a lot of people are talking that work hard. Let's, let's keep that in mind. I just, I just want to remember, let's keep that in mind. I just want to say that uh, basically th this fight was not, as, I didn't pick Bacow. I didn't, I don't care about the guy. I couldn't care less about him. Um, it's, uh, I was offered this fight by European promoters and they said, okay, we want, I was, it was when I was in Denmark. Okay. I was uh, asked in 2019, like, okay, we want to do this fight. At 72 kilogram, let's do this. It's going to be Litwe against Mutai, neutral ground. I said, okay, let's do it. Let's let's do it. And then I started talking about it, and people said, oh, it was fake news, fake news. Well, no, <laughs> I got I got asked for a meeting while I was in Copenhagen for my my Litwe World Tour. So, um, so yeah, it couldn't it couldn't be less. But Sanchai would would be would be he, he's too small. Uh, and how, uh, how would that fight go with Borkow? Could, could you actually yeah. arrange a certain catch weight, or how how would it go? How do you yeah, see so that? that so, so let's be clear. Yeah, that's the good question. So basically, weight wise, I'm I'm one in, I'm 188 centimeters, but my my walking weight is like 78 kilograms. Okay, people get confused in my in my um, in my fight weight on Wikipedia because, for example, you have a page, right? Your weight is your fight weight. Buckhouse's weight is his fight weight. My weight is my fight weight, but I don't cut to go there. It's my walking weight. I because I fight open weight in Litway because that's more healthy for me, and I don't I don't I never cared about cutting weight. So it just happens like that. For example. Um, 
some guys, they, you know, uh, my fellow Canadian, Josh St. Pierre, GSP, 170 pounds, but I know he walks at around 90, 190, 200 pounds, right? So he cuts 20 pounds. So what could be a good catch weight for you? In your yeah, it's not, it's not catch weight. I, I can make 72 easy, you know, 72 kilograms. And that's what he fights, 71, 71.5. So it's not a problem for me. My, my, it's a normal cut weight, some 70 weight, 78 to uh to 72 it's like six kilograms i got i got guys and that would cut weight that cut like eight kilograms for fights it's nothing six kilograms. you agree with me eight six kilogram is not a lot has he answered to any of, of those propositions because it seems to me that he's it's not a proposition trying the news, but he's not answering right away what, what's going posting, on there? he's posting uh, on his page all the time and uh, it's not me it's not it's not my proposition it's it, i'm just i'm just repeating what i'm told by the promoter in uh, in europe so uh Yeah, I know he's he's obviously uh, he's obviously annoyed with uh, with uh, what I'm saying. I understand, I understand because I, I have I, I would agree I have a um, a, a, a an aggressive approach. I because I, I, I don't I don't fighting for me. It's not it's 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 war. So I'm about to fight this guy. So I'm gonna fucking. Uh, it's not all this like goody good. Uh, um, yes, I respect I respect you. I respect everybody. But fighting back in the days was fucking war. It was killing this. The, 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 you know, like Muhammad Ali was talking shit all the time. Bruce Lee was talking shit at Kung Fu schools all the time. Um, like, come on, let's, let's, let's be honest here. It's, it's fight business. Uh, we, we, it's, it's normal. It's, and it's not only fight business, it's fighting. So I have to back ask you the question. If the fight would eventually happen, how would the fight go? Oh, it's not even a question. I, I'm extremely confident. I wouldn't, it would, uh, I, I don't think, uh, I don't think he, he, I, if he thinks he can hurt me with his leg kicks, he's delusional because uh, I've, uh, I, I know my, my, the, Bur the Burmese uh, champion that I beat, uh, Tung Tung Min, I, I respect him. We have, a, we have a rivalry together. We fought three times, but his kicks are stronger than, than, uh, than Bokao. I can guarantee you that. And I took them, then I didn't even check them. And uh, so that doesn't afraid me. And hands wise, I have uh, way better hands than him. I have way better, stronger elbows than him. My 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 uh, my elbows is my signature move. And I would even concede. I even told the promoter I would concede not doing. A, I don't know how do you do. How do you say headbutt in uh, in Thai language? How do you say headbutt? Wakho. Wakho. And in Myanmar, it's gaung tai. I would concede the headbutt. I don't care uh, because if we had the headbutts in the clinch. It's it's the clinch game is different. You know you're 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 a great fighter, and you know when we're clinching we can hold the hands, but in the middle there's the headbutt that changes the entire weaponry of the clinch. Um, so, so if depends. the fight will have to go on, it will have to be Muay Thai rules or no? I would never fight Muay Thai rules, and he's gonna never fight Lithuanian rules. Uh, it's it's again this fight is bigger than both of us. It's about the two sports, so uh, the two arts, the two combat arts. So I. I I don't think both of us wants to concede um, the rule set. It's going to have to be hybrid rule set. Um, so some parts of Litwe, some parts of Muay Thai. Um, I know the, the promoters were talking about a KO to win, so no scoring system. That's the thing I didn't, I never liked about uh, the Muay Thai. It was the, the scoring system because there's always like controversial decision, split decision, or it's never. No, you know, you, you were involved in some for sure. Ah, uh, you know, uh, I should have won, or I, it was close fight. So KO to win in Litwe, traditional Litwe, there's not that bullshit. You knock him out, you win. You don't knock him out, it's a draw. So that's, I'm not fighting if there's a, if, if it's not that. And uh, I know he's not going to fight if there's no uh, headbutt. So that's, okay. what I, that's what I told the promoter. So it's going to be a hybrid rule set. And uh, I, I can still, uh, I can still, uh, I'm not even afraid. Well, talking about Borkow, there's his former teammate, I, I, I mean, we call Simon Marcus. I know you've had a, a few exchanges on social media. What's going on with that? Yeah, it's funny. This guy, um, I actually, it's funny because I, I looked at a message because uh, uh, he was talking shit on my post. He was following me and I saw that he was uh, putting a lot of emojis and, and talking shit. The guy, uh, some people don't know him, but he, he was fighting for glory, glory champion before. And uh, he was asking me for fights, which I found it, at the time I didn't care because it was, it was a respectful exchange. It was in 2019, a respectful He said, hey, brother, do you have any contacts for fights? To be honest, Antoine, I found it funny. Uh, I was like, okay, you have a glory kickboxing world champion, middleweight world champion, asking for fights? Okay, okay. I thought you guys, I, know, I thought he was going to get paid better than that, you know, can be able to monetize his brand better than that. I don't care. I'm not, I didn't even say anything. I didn't comment. 
stays like stays like that two years later start talking shit probably because he's hurt because he's a little fan girl of Buckow. he's a training partner with Buckow. he's a, he probably was getting hurt uh, his emotions were getting hurt like everybody in the world right now their emotions are getting hurt at anything he's like oh so now he's starting talking shit about me still follows me still uh, looks at everything so he's a fanboy um but um and then i'm like and then i'm like uh so so it's funny when they respect they respect you they even ask they're begging me for fights they're asking me like do you have any contacts i basically basically asking for money <laughs> and then he wants to talk shit uh on social media so yeah i, I find it just funny so i said after i'm done with buck Al, i can i can just uh do a, I can do a little fight with him and uh, fuck him up too. I don't care. There's this question I have to ask you. You've talked about your ways. You've talked about the fighting business and this is the way. Is this a persona you're doing right now or is this actually what you truly believe in? Because trash talking and all of that, we grew up in a martial art that is coming from Asia with the Asian culture, which is based on respect. And obviously you're doing something that is more of a Western way. But... I agree with you that uh, that's the idea that people think it is, but I, I would uh, challenge you on that, saying that practically in in the real in the real uh, in, in the real fighting world, right? You respect your crew. I respect my sifu. Um, that's right. That's true. But when it comes to like, if you if you look at uh, you know a lot of gyms in, in in Thailand, and you can agree or not not agree with me, but I, I spoke with guys that were they're farang and they're, they're they were living in thailand they were fighting in thailand and you know queen's cup all around uh, everywhere and they're actually telling me a lot of messages said dave i don't know how you're doing this uh all the all the messages you're getting all the you know i'm receiving death threats i'm receiving uh, people saying they're going to stab me if i go to me uh, if i go to thailand it's funny i don't care he said i don't know how you're doing this dave uh but i thank you because Um, I don't have, uh, I have a lot of bad experience sometimes with the, the gyms. I was like, what do you mean? He said, well, it's always, I know better. We're, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm from Thailand and you're a Farang. You don't know shit. You're, you're, you're like, you're just, you're just, I'm like, okay. I, 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 uh, I, I'm like, okay, I understand your experience. I'm sorry that you had to live an experience that, but there's a lot of, uh, I, there's a lot of experience like that sometimes that it's, it's kind of disappointing. And, uh, maybe it comes from these, uh, these stories that like, You know, the, I think, I think, um, I think a lot of times we're, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't want to say racist, but there's a lot of racism there towards the foreigners. Uh, even that word, farang, it's so fucking racist. Like, why you have to say that? Why you have to say falang? Does, do we want to include them? Like, you're, you're, you know, you're part of us. For, it's almost like a, it's a, the deme it's like a demeaning, demeaning word. There's no such word in Myanmar. There's no such words in, in, uh, and once you're Canadian, you're Canadian. You know, we have a lot of immigrate from, everywhere every nationality so why do you have to imagine if you live your life and you always always you, you decide to live in thailand and for the rest of your fucking life even if you marry a thai woman you're going to be told you're a farang for the rest of your life it's not fun you never feel like you're you're going to be part of that of that life anyway so um yeah i i think uh no it's not a persona i really believe that uh uh there's some stories that needs to be challenged and uh, so that needs to be uh, addressed like the my come down story um i do believe that martial art is not about uh it's not only about respect there should be respect in it but uh it's about fighting it's about uh showing who's good you know if it's only about respect we shouldn't we, we won't we don't punch each other in the face we don't want to cut each other like you, we fight we want to cut each other we want to win yes there's just i i bow down after my fight i i i salute of course but i want to hurt this guy he wants to hurt me too he wants to knock me out Not, I'm just, that's my mentality before fighting, Antoine, and you might agree. This guy, when you fight, this guy wants to take away your status. He wants to say, I beat Antoine. He wants to say, I, I humiliate him in front of his friends, his girl. I want to take his money. I want to take his status. And I want to brag to all my friends that I beat him. If that doesn't insult you, well, we shouldn't, we, we don't fight, right? We're, 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 of course, it's insulting. It's fighting. He wants, to, he wants to kick your ass. So fighting for me, is about uh it's about showing you know your 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 who you are and uh, standing up for who you are but after the fight we're going to respect of course um but yes i i do believe that and as you talk uh, the, the, and i finish on that a person doesn't have to be a one type of person you can be kind right 
and you can be also controversial. Like if you know me in real life, I love kids. I play with kids. I go in orf- I, I love, I love people. I'm a people's person. And, uh, but I, when I fight, I'm a different guy. There's two types of Dave, I guess. So no, it's not a persona. You're just, you're just two types of Dave. Okay. Well, is there any last thing that you'd like to say to the world now? Is that even with no headbutts, I call knockout on Bacau in, in the first three minutes. Okay. Well, it's said, we'll just have to see what's going on from now. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. And we'll see what the future holds. เราเข้าใจครับว่าคนมันมีหลายประเภทแล้วก็คิดได้หลายแบบโดยเฉพาะวงการมวยหรือวงการต่อสู้ครับวันนี้เราได้เห็นแล้วนะครับว่าตัว